feel the presence of the Lord. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, that you have committed to your holy church the care and the nurture of your children. Enlighten with your wisdom those who teach and those who learn, that rejoicing in the knowledge of your truth, they may worship you and serve you from generation to generation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Again, good morning class. So are you ready for today's lesson? But before we start, please arrange your chairs and go back to your proper seat. And then, pick up the small pieces of papers under your chairs. And may I know who is absent for today? Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. Very good! It's nice to hear that no one is absent for today. So, are you familiar with the game Spot the Difference? Okay, this morning we are going to play that game. So, I have here two pictures, picture A and picture B. The mechanics of this game is just to identify the differences of the two pictures. So, I will group you into four. Row one would be the group one, row two would be the group two, and row three would be the group three, and row four would be the group four. And each group will give one difference of the two pictures. Is it okay, class? Anyone from the first group who would like to give one difference of the two pictures? Yes, Mirakel. Very good. The trees. So how they become different, Samantha? Precisely. So from picture A, the arrangement of trees are tall, short, and then tall. While on picture B, the arrangement of trees are short, tall, and then short. So thank you, Miracle and Samantha. How about the second group who would like to give one difference of the two pictures? Yes, Faith. Very good. The windows of the building. So how they become different, Chantel? That's correct. So on picture A, the colors of the windows of the buildings are yellow, white, yellow, and then white. While on picture B are white, yellow, white, and yellow. So thank you, Faith and Chantel. How about the third group? Yes, Rocky. Very good. The shapes hold by children. So how they become different, Joshua? Precisely. So the children on picture A holds circle, square, star, circle, square, and then star. On picture B, the children holds diamond, triangle, rectangle, diamond, triangle, and Rectangle. So, thank you, Group 3, Rocky and Joshua. How about the last group? Who would like to give one difference of the two pictures? Yes, Marianne. Very good. The passenger of the school bus. So, how do you become different? Okay, that's correct. In picture A, the seating arrangement of the passenger are girl, boy, girl, and boy. While on picture B are boy, boy, and then girl, and girl. So thank you, group four. So this activity that we have taken has something to do with our lesson for today. So our lesson for today is about repeating patterns. And this lesson we will explore about patterns. So look at this arrangement of flowers. Do you think it follows a certain order? Yes, it does. An arrangement that follows a certain order is called a pattern. A chessboard also follows a pattern of white and black. And many of our clothes have pattern designs printed on them just like this. So, what are repeating patterns? Row 1 and row 2, would you mind to read the definition of repeating pattern? Thank you, row 1 and row 2. Row 3 and row 4, please repeat what they have read. Thank you, row 3 and row 4. So, when we say repeating pattern, it repeats themselves over and over again according to a certain rule. Some examples of repeating patterns are this. A repeating pattern has two main parts, the terms and the core. The 
patterns are the objects or elements that form a pattern are called serves. And the example above, the terms are orange stars and green circles. While the core is the part of repeating pattern that stays the same and repeats itself is called its terms. So this is the core. Let's look at this example pattern. So how can you find the core of this pattern? Very good. To find the core of a repeating pattern, look for the smallest set of terms that repeat themselves. So, is this the core? No. How about this one? Yes, these are the terms that repeat over and over again in the same order. So, this is the core of this pattern. Sometimes, we may need to find the unknown terms in a pattern. Can you find the next two terms of this pattern? Not yet. So, to find the unknown terms in a pattern, first is find the pattern score. And then use the core to find the unknown terms. Let's try in this one. Can you see it? Very good. So, the core of this pattern are heart, circle, and square. Now, let's use it to find the next two terms of this pattern. Can you see it now? Very good. The unknown terms are circle and square. Nice job. At this moment, class, we are going to have an activity. I am going to show you a set of patterns or a set of terms. All you have to do, you are going to identify the missing terms. Look at the jumble cutouts at the top. And you are going to paste it on the line to complete the missing term. Is it clear, class? Very good. And now we are already complete at the missing terms of these patterns. Good job, class. Did you understand your lesson, class? If that's so, may I ask you some questions? What is repeating patterns again, Miracle? Very good. Everybody, what is repeating pattern? Excellent. Is there any questions regarding our topic for today? None. So let's see if you really understand our topic for today. So I have your worksheet and you are going to identify the missing term in a given items. And circle the pictures in the right side to complete the pattern. So get one and pass. Okay class, pass your paper forward. And for your assignment, on a short band paper, draw something that shows a repeating pattern. And that's all for today. Goodbye class!